welcome inside Kauffman Stadium. We bring you Friday baseball on the show. It's the Oakland Athletics going up against the Kansas City Royals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go. And today's starter, Brady Singer. What well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him. And they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Witt over to first. Out. One out in the top of the first. And time now to check out the A's lineup. And something they've talked about needing to improve on moving forward is their ability to apply consistent pressure, Chris. Right now, it's not a club that gets on base enough. And sometimes, Boog, you just need a guy to go up there and grind out and at bat, maybe have 11, 12 pitches, and all of a sudden, guys get fired up in the dugout, and they want to do the Four. same thing. And before you know it, One you start to get base runners on, and you get a big hit, and all of a sudden, you ride that wave for a few days and go on a winning streak. That's something they definitely could use. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. The line to kick the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Foul ball still a one and two count. One out, base is empty. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Brent Rooker now at the plate. He's been on fire at the dish lately. Batting average this month over 400. Fastball for a strike. Going one. Oh, one. Lede, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next uh -huh. offering is in for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. And the righty deals. Roll to short, possible two ball. There's one, and that's two. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. here at Kauffman Stadium and towing the slab in this one Ross Stripling well no doubt about it he's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down now he's got good stuff he's just got to be able to have confidence trusted and really go after hitters not nibble trust that his stuff can have late life in Miss Barrels of bats the wind of the pitch this one lifted in the air left field no trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. This has been a good productive lineup so far this year. Currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game. Well, you know this lineup sees it as very important to put the ball in play, Boog. I mean, this is an age where strikeouts are up so high and guys are swinging and missing going for the fences. But... If you can increase that contact rate, you can be a dangerous club. You get more guys on base, and then all of a sudden, when that big swing comes through, you're plating more runs. So we'll see if this pitcher can get some soft contact, let the defense work behind him. Gets the outside corner with that one. On the ground to the left. And he can't come up with it. Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. Runner on at first with one gone. And to the play for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. 
This one ripped, but foul to the right. If you were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Man at first, one away. Runner on the go. That one is absolutely belted. Gone. That should put a jolt into this home crowd. It's his sixth home run of the season, and the Royals take the lead. It's 2 nothing. Well, the best home runs are the ones that give your team the lead. That's a great feeling right there. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. One down. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. No, First pitch, outside. and he just misses. Kicks and fires. Swings, fouls it off, and he breaks his bat. And a swing and a miss. A one-two one count. Ball. All he's Two seen shot. is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. The one-two. Oh. And that's outside. This guy's a fun guy to Two watch ball. taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Swing and a ball popped up. Nobody foul can ball. get there, and it's a foul ball. The pitch. That oh, misses, God. and the count's full. And he walked him. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. That one fouled off. Pitch. That one ripped. Way back there. Tattooed and gone. That'll fire up the dugout. Second home run of the inning for them. And they add a couple more. It's 4 nothing. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Now, here is Nelson Velasquez. Well, it's not the Go inning back. he was planning on to begin this start. Watch, you've got to find a way to shake things off and give your team some length and put up some zeros. The wind of the pitch. That's ball. off the mark, and yeah, that's ball two. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound, and uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Huh. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Foul ball there. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. In the air, right field. They got it for out number two. That is seven. 
the left fielder. And now MJ Melendez. That clips the zone. Strike one. Two out spaces empty. And that's off the inside edge. And one and one. And a pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. Slings the first. And they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Kansas City. Now it's going to be Shea Langoliers. As he turns on the rubber. And with that good live arm delivers. Witt. And quickly Out. one away in the second. That is it. The first baseman, number 21, Tyler. Digging in for Soderstrom. Oakland, Tyler Soderstrom. And what that's up? in the dirt. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Lifted in the air, out to left. Melendez going after it. Hauls it in for the out. Two away. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. So here's Brown at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no the A's down by four here at the top of the second. Bounce to third. Sneaks through, base hit. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And yeah, the batter now, number 12. Man, this is pretty amazing. This guy is very efficient out there on the mound right now. Just nine pitches in the first. He's got a chance to keep it to single digits again. Who does that? Two outs. And a good eye there. One one. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. One two. The pitch. Right through there. Got it. That ends the frame. One left for Oakland. They're on the short end of a four nothing score. Of the inning here's Adam Frazier. The second baseman, Adam Frazier. Stripling back to work. That That's pitch clips the outside corner. 0 and 1. Just inside. missed. Left-hand hitter waits. Way out front for strike two. One ball, two strikes. That two misses two. the zone, and it's two and two. Ah. And down on strikes. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it, and they bail you out. Dyrone Blanco in the box with one away as he takes ball one.
One down, base is empty. That's to third. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Well, I definitely think the speed down the line played a factor on that throw. He had more time than he thought, but as a fielder, the speed of the game and the speed of the runner sometimes can get in your head, and he just rushed it and failed to make a clean throw. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Fly to left his first time. There goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Ow! That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. No. Just missed. Down Good eye low. right there. Two down, nobody on. No. Just missed. Bobby Witt Jr. on deck for the Royals. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Line drive. Speared it first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And we're back. And now the right fielder, Lawrence right Butler. Lawrence Butler. And here comes Singer, the tall righty, 215 pounds, a former first round pick back in 2018. That's yeah. in there, and the count is 0 and 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Breaking ball inside. It's a ball and two strikes. Outside. And that just misses. It's a good take. Kicks and deals. This ball's chopped on the ground. Jump throw on target. He got him. Nice play. Here's the rookie third baseman, Brett Harris. And the first offering is not close. Wouldn't chase that time. Riding to the plate. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Next offering is in for a strike. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next pitch is outside. And he grounds one to the right side. He takes it on his He's own. Out. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The second baseman, Abraham Toro. So two down now, and here is Abraham Toro. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat.
Toro tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. Next offering misses, and it's 2-0. And another ball. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. Three-one, and he couldn't come up with it. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Lede in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Finish Left hand batter waits. One, two, that one almost got him. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. And that's outside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Rips that one to right. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Coming home. He'll score easily. It's 4-1. Well, that worked out as good as it could have. We mentioned the RBI opportunity with the runner moving on the 3-2 pitch, and he cashed in by finding a hole in the outfield. You know, that takes a little extra concentration in the box because of the movement on the base pass. Easy to get distracted, so that was a really nice job there. And next is the designated hitter, Brent Rooker. That one's in there. That's strike one. Runner at second, two down. Next off is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Next pitch misses way outside. And that one is inside. Man on second, two down. On the ground, right side. Frazier on the first, in time. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. A's get one on the RBI double. It's now a 4-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. The right-hander back to work. That one's in there. Strike one. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. And it is gone! It's his sixth home run of the season, and they tack one on the board. It's 5-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. No, Boo, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead... Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Nobody on. Nobody out with a run in here in the last half of the third. 
Bounce to the right side, and it's through for a hit. Up next to the Royals. He kind of rolled over the on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Digging in, Salvador Perez. His home and away splits there. There's a strike. Well, these Royals showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Not only have they already put the kick in the pitch, runner goes. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Righty delivers. On the ground right side, four. It's in and out of his glove. One at second. Relay to first, double play. Well, he made his pitch down in the zone. He got that ball on the ground. The double play he was looking for. Really good execution. Two outs, base is empty. Michael Massey will hit next. He's already homered here in this one. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Nelson Velasquez steps in for the Royals. He's 0 for 1. through there for a strike when you're struggling out there on the mound hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard Massey the runner at first with two gone ball in the dirt blocked One ball. and the One runner strike. holds two outs Outside. And a curve Ball. misses outside. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The 2-1. And a three. good eye there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Bounced out to short. They get the force. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. And a run to the Royals lead with this homer. It's now 5-1. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Kansas City, new inning getting started. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Shea Langoliers. And a pitch. And that's down and away. You know, these A's doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. On the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. The first baseman, number 21, Tyler Soderstrom. So up next, Tyler Soderstrom. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Ball. And ball one. Next oh. offering is in for a strike. 1-1. One, one. And the pitch. And yeah, now two balls and a strike. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Three. Check swing, but he went too far. Two, two and two, two now. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Ball. 
He swings and hits a fly ball center field. He's got it. And there's two away. Now batter, the left fielder, Seth. Two outs, Brown. base is empty. Seth Brown up next for the A's. One for one with a single so far. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Two down, nobody on. Pitch in the dirt, and the count is one and two. That one down the line. That's out number three. A's go quickly and quietly there. They're down here, five to one. Ready to go, bottom four at the play. MJ Melendez. Stripling back to work. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. One ball, no strike. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One ball, one strike. And a one two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Frazier stands in here, takes ball one low. And another ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Brown ball off the middle. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, back in trouble, Boo, and it's just been like this for him most of the game. They've been all over him since his first pitch, and I think he's got a very short leash right now. Really needs to lock it down here. And now the center fielder, Tyrone Blanco. Breaking ball in there for a strike. comes the 1 Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Got him swinging. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. First offering is fouled off. Frazier off of first with two away. Pitch misses there, and the count one and two. Ends the inning. Royals leave one. They're up 5 1.
back here at Kauffman Stadium. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, number 12. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball one low. You know, these athletics need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Down the line. And that lands in no man's land a foul ball. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off oh, tough pitches. Got him looking. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Next up for the A's, Lawrence Butler. That yeah. one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. And, one down, base is empty. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And the right hander deals. Fights it off, he'll see another. Oh. Next one misses. Now one and two. Out to short with. Sends it across the first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. The, the, third the Athletics Harris. down to their last out. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Brett Harris. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. No, Just off the, the inside edge. 1 0. That oh. misses. Two balls, no strikes. Two outs. Ball, Just no. missed. Oh, they have had a Three hard ball. time scoring one in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And that'll do it. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.